Feedmaster Gnome Wittenberg back with the weekly upload, and this one I believe is truly important for all chess players to hear. I stream on Twitch nearly daily at Chessinators, feel free to check it out. Link in the comment section down below. Let's get straight into the video. Have you ever played against a stunningly gorgeous lady? An opponent who wouldn't stop giving you strange looks after every move you played? An opponent who tried to bluff frequently throughout the game, or any other type of player with intriguing habits, you're not alone, and huge quantities of players have gotten distracted by their opponents. I am here to tell you one simple, practical trick to not be distracted by your opponent ever again. A very common tip is to play against the pieces and not against the opponent. This is highly abstract, however, and it is very hard to change your behavioral patterns based on such metaphysical advice. Instead, what I have in store for you today is something concrete that you can implement in the next chess game you play. Are you ready? Good. You place your hands over your forehead, and you can choose to put your thumbs over your ears or just use earbuds to cover your ears as well in the following manner. You might believe I'm pulling your leg and just want to make you look funny, but bear with me guys, that is not the case. When you're playing against an opponent with distracting habits, they might have developed them intentionally. You can get distracted and lose focus on the game. This will hinder you from playing to the maximum of your abilities. You might be playing against a beautiful lady and might not have your eyes on the board at all. However, by covering your forehead, you're purposefully blocking your range of vision, so you are only able to see the board. This is highly resilient to a blinker, a horse wears, to only look ahead on the road and not get distracted by what happens to the left or to the right. Initially, it'll be slightly difficult to consistently sit in this position at the board, but if you remind yourself to do this in the beginning, it is going to become a habit. There are a few things you should keep in mind prior to implementing this tip. The first one is to be aware of not having bad posture when doing this. It is incredibly tempting to lean forward when covering your head with your hands. Word of warning, however, stay cautious and be conscious of your posture. Second word of notice, some of you might say it looks unesthetic and weird to sit like this at the board. However, keep in mind guys, at the board you're there to play the best possible moves, you're not there to look like a model. A minor disclaimer is that with Corona now, there are not too many over the board tournaments at all. However, even now, you can practice this new trick and only look at the board when you play chess online. Also, chess.com has a feature called focus mode when you can only see the board and the clock and nothing else. This feature is somewhat resilient to this trick in the sense that you're only looking at the board and you're trying to not get distracted by other factors. I hope you'll implement this tip with great success and I wish you luck on your journey throughout the 64 squares. If you made it this far in the video, consider subscribing, liking and sharing this video. This helps the channel out and there will come more weekly uploads when I help you learn more about chess. 